In this video, I'm sharing with you some software that is available to help you make puzzle books to sell on Amazon KDP. Welcome to my channel. My name is Caroline and I make videos to help you master your mindset and make money online so that you can build a life you love. Puzzle books are a very popular niche on Amazon and particularly with quarter four approaching fast. These types of books are often purchased as Christmas gifts or stocking stuffers and can sell really well over the Christmas buying period. We head on over to Amazon and we take a look for some puzzle books. We can have a look at this niche and see what types of books there are, what niches there are that could be popular. And I've just gone to Amazon and in the search bar typed in puzzle book, which is an extremely high level and highly competitive niche. You would wanna drill down into some of the sub niches, but you can see straight away in the search results that have dropped down there, lots of different search results that people are looking for in relation to puzzle books. So puzzle books for adults, for kids, and then their specific ages, 10 to 12, 4 to 8, puzzle books for seniors. People are looking for specifically crossword puzzles, Sudoku, right over to puzzle books with different types of puzzles, puzzle books with word search cryptograms. So there is a lot of different directions that you can go in with this. And I want to look at the software that's available that can make all these different types of puzzles. So let's say you are interested in making crossword puzzles. Now, if we look at crossword puzzle books, Book. Again, it's sort of like a very high level niche under the puzzle book category. We've got over 10,000 results, so it's very competitive, very popular. And this is where you would need to do some really intense niche research to find some niches that are for crosswords, but sub niches. So straight up, we can see that there is a puzzle book here for large print. So specifically large print crossword puzzles. This one is for brain health. So targeting the mental health, the brain health benefits that you can get from doing puzzles. And then these sub niches here, which are targeting kids. So my first crossword puzzle book or 101 fun crossword puzzles for kids. So you need to decide whether you would want to do puzzle books for kids or for adults, because obviously they're going to be extremely different types of puzzles that you're going to have. We've got easy crossword puzzles. So there are different levels that you can create puzzles for, whether they're easy, intermediate, or extremely hard or advanced or expert puzzles, whatever you want to call it. So let's say that you did want to do a crossword puzzle book for kids or kids aged six to eight. There we can see the results have dropped quite significantly. So now we only have 5,000 results, still quite high, but this is sort of how you drill down into those sub niches and find a niche that maybe has a little less competition that you might want to create a puzzle book for. So we can just take a look through, have a look at the BSRs, see if these books are selling, how many they may be selling, whether there's an opportunity to get into this sub niche or whatever sub niche it is that you're looking at. So you just want to have a look at the BSRs and they're definitely selling. That's a great BSR. So that's the 101 fun crossword puzzles for kids sitting with a BSR, which is a bestseller rank that determines the popularity of your book in the Amazon marketplace. That one's sitting at just under 11,000. This crossword puzzles for kids aged four to eight has a BSR of just under 150,000. The My First Crosswords puzzle book, a BSR of 13,500. And then to sort of give ourselves an idea of how many books that may be selling in a particular sub niche, we can just head on over here to the TCK Publishing Amazon Book Sales Calculator, pop in 11,000 to work out how many sales per month. So that particular book there, the 101 Fun Crossword Puzzles for Kids, we could estimate maybe selling around 346 copies of that book per month. But how much does that equate to in royalties? So let's have a look at this book. It's 107 pages. It is an 8.5 by 11 inch sized book. So let's go to the KDP royalty calculator. So it's a paperback, black and white interior, 107 pages selling on Amazon Marketplace. And it is selling for $7.97. I'll just round it to $7.99. So this book is making $2.64 royalty. 346 copies of this book at a $2.64 royalty. So that's just over $900 in royalties from that one book. So $913.44 to be exact that we could estimate this book is making. And if you can create a book similar that can compete with these kind of books and get to this kind of bestseller ranking, you can sort of estimate what 
kind of royalties you might make as well. And the great thing with puzzle books is that there are so many different kinds. So you can do crossword puzzles and then down here you can do word search puzzles you can do sudoku for kids there are so many different puzzles that you can create a brand around different kind of puzzles aimed at a particular sub niche that's what i really like about puzzles and the other thing i like about puzzles is when you use software to create them they are unique and it's a good way to avoid the problem that a lot of us are having these days with duplicate books and books having duplicate content because maybe you've been purchasing your interiors pre-made along with hundreds of other people and so you're creating books that are the same or very similar to other books because you're using pre-made interiors and I think puzzle books are just a really great way to get that uniqueness and to get an interior that isn't easily copied and it isn't going to be a copy of another book because you're going to be creating these puzzles that are unique using the softwares that I'm going to go through in this video and so that's why I really like the potential for puzzle books crossword puzzles word searches and things like that and then just looking at this word search book here, let's do a little estimate on how many books this one might be selling. So 3,181 BSR, which is estimating around 936 books per month selling. Now this book has 105 pages, 8.5 by 11 so basically the same as the other book it'll be getting the same royalty $2.64 royalty so 936 copies times the $2.64 royalty this book is making $2,471.04 approximately so let's say just under $2,500 a month so that's pretty amazing and with quarter four coming up I can imagine that the sales on these types of books would only get higher and higher over that Christmas buying period and I just want to take a quick look at this particular author to see what other books they have so they've just got two they've got a word search book for kids age six to eight and then a word search book for kids aged eight to to 10 but both having really great BSRs so you can see just from having a couple of books if you can get a book ranked quite well in a particular niche it doesn't take a lot of books to make a lot of money if you just focus on creating high quality in your books I feel like that's a far better strategy than just creating hundreds and thousands of books that aren't really that great probably aren't going to sell hoping that one or two or a handful of them are going to make some money I feel like just putting a bit more effort into a smaller amount of books can really do wonders and create that lasting brand okay so how do we even create these kinds of books well like I say there are software that can do this for you and I wanted to go over the different options that are available if looking at some puzzle book software is something that you're interested in. So the first one that I want to talk about is BookBolt. So you may be familiar with BookBolt as a niche research tool. I've talked about it in many of my videos and I do love it for niche research, but they actually do have a puzzle software and it's called PuzzleWiz. If you are already a member of BookBolt Pro, you automatically get access to PuzzleWiz. So if you didn't realize that, then make sure that you go over to PuzzleWiz and get access to your account. If you have been interested in signing up to BookBolt, sign up for the BookBolt Pro and then you will get access to the PuzzleWiz. Or if you do not want the BookBolt software, the niche research software, you can just sign up for PuzzleBook, sorry, PuzzleWiz on its own and you just pay monthly for it. And once that you're inside the PuzzleWiz software, you can see that there are a heap of different puzzles that you can create with their software. So we have Sudoku, Nurikabi, I'm not sure what that is or if I've pronounced it correctly. We've got crosswords, word search, hangman, cryptogram, word scrambles, missing vowels, mind finder, mazes, kakuro, and you can even do some sort of coloring book, activity book type of things there as well. So if we take a quick look at the crosswords, because that's what we were looking at in um, KDP, so you can set the formatting of your document whether you want bleed or no bleed you can set the sizing whether you want your pages double or single how many pages you want you can adjust the font there's lots of different fonts to choose from and then in terms of a crossword puzzle you just need to provide the content 
for the crossword puzzles. So you need to provide them with a CSV file and it explains exactly what to do here. You need to provide between 70 and 100 word slash description combinations. The generator will build the best solution and then it spits out crossword puzzles in a PDF format. Now there are other little options here. So if your file doesn't meet the requirements, they will choose some random, random words and sentences if you want. You can include solutions at the back or at the end of the document, which I would always suggest. Any puzzle book that I have ever purchased myself always has the solutions at the back. You can choose to match the puzzle and solution page numbers and you can also include page numbers at on, on your pages as well if you want to. Now if we take a look at some word searches it's very similar the same formatting options and again you just provide a CSV file with the words that you want to include in each word search puzzle and again if you want them to use random words if your file's not meeting the requirements so if you're not targeting specific niches for your word searches and you're happy for them to use any words that they want in your word search you can choose to do that again include the solutions if you want to include page numbers and things like that and then you just end up getting a file to download a PDF that has however many pages you asked for with word searches on them and so like I say lots of different puzzles here if you're interested in creating different types of puzzles or puzzle books and if you haven't used this software before they do have a bunch of tutorials here to help you go through it if you have any trouble with using the options here or getting the document downloaded and things like that so the next software I want to look at is the instant puzzle generator software and with this software you actually get access or you can get access to three different programs. So we have the Instant Puzzle Generator, the Word Puzzle Generator, and the Instant Maze Generator. It doesn't have as many uh, different types of puzzles to create, but I feel like the formatting options that you have with this software is a lot more in in depth than with BookBolt. So with this software, you've got different formats that you can download in. So BookBolt, you can only download it in PDF. This one, you can also do PNG, JPEG or PowerPoint. You can download just single pages or a whole, a whole book. 900 plus font options. There are lots of grid sizes to choose from. There's different styles of page numbering if you want. You can shuffle the letters to create new puzzle variants with the same words. There is a lot more trim sizes or book sizes to be able to create with this one. And you can create clues. You can also have borders and you can have different options of how you have the solutions pages formatted at the end. Now I have access to the maze software that comes with this puzzle book software collection and you can see here if you are interested in doing mazes there's lots of different types of mazes to choose from. There's a quick book creator. You can upload your own images or use their backgrounds. So if you are targeting children or something or if you're doing an animal thing maze book or something like that then there are images here that you can use to make your pages look more interesting rather than just a maze on a plain white background you can add images you can add your own images as well and as I said earlier if you're interested in creating different types of puzzles and puzzle books you can access the word puzzles generator as well and the instant puzzle generator as well if you want to have access to all the different types of puzzles that you can create with this software and the last software that I want to look at is from Bowers Publishing this puzzle software is created by a guy called Luke. He runs a Facebook group, a very popular Facebook group called KDP Low Content Templates Guides and Help and he also creates this puzzle generator software. So this software is actually a PowerPoint app or a PowerPoint plugin. So you create the books with PowerPoint and if you haven't used PowerPoint to create low content books yet, it's actually a surprisingly easy program to use to make low content books. I mostly use Word to create my low content books, but I did keep hearing lots of people talk about using PowerPoint and I resisted using it for so long because to me, it just seems odd to use PowerPoint to make a book, but I eventually did it. And I have to say, it is really so simple and easy to use when creating certain kinds of low content books. So if you don't already use PowerPoint for creating books, don't exclude this option of Puzzle Generator because it is actually a really great way to make these kind of books. And so with this particular generator, there's lots of different puzzles you can make as you can see. So you can create word searches, crosswords, mazes, Sudoku, coloring book pages if you're interested in that as well, cryptogram, 
word puzzles, word scrambles, mind finders, hangman, tic-tac-toe, heaps of different types of puzzles that you can create with this software. You purchase this one on a subscription type of basis, so you can pay monthly, quarterly, half yearly, or yearly. And while I don't have access to this software yet myself, just looking from the description here, there are options to format the font, the margins, the sizing of puzzles, solutions are added. It creates the puzzles in bulk so you don't have to create them one at a time. There are different levels, so easy, intermediate, hard, etc. And so it seems to have similar features to the other two softwares that we've already looked at. As a subscription, you can cancel any time. As it says, you're not locked into anything. So which one is the best one to use or which one should you use? Well, I feel like that really depends on the type of puzzle books that you wanna make. If you wanna make a really specific type of puzzle book, then you need to go with the software that has that software. So say you did wanna make tic-tac-toe grids. The other two software we looked at, BookBolt and the Instant Puzzle Generator, don't have that. Or maybe you do just want to do a more popular kind of puzzle like a crossword or a word search, which all of these softwares do so then you need to look at perhaps how you want the puzzle to look in the book and then look for the software that's going to allow you to do that so if it's a certain size of book that you want so the instant puzzle generator had a lot more options in terms of book sizing so if the book size that you want to use is only available in this one go with that software if you do want to have options of different borders choose the software that allows you to do that so at the end of the day the software that's the best one for you is the one that's going to allow you to make the puzzles that you want to make and have them be printed out the way that you want them to look in the book once it's printed by Amazon. So I hope you found this video useful and that I've helped you discover some great software. If you were thinking of entering into the puzzle book niche on Amazon, I have popped links for all three softwares in the description below to go check them out and I'll see you in the next video.